Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. it has. Yeah. Well, you know what? I knew it was going to be a good cruise. I knew it was going to be a good cruise. I had a great day. I had great omens. <laughs> I did. It was. It was all very auspicious. Like first, so I was getting dressed before the show. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> I was kind of on the fence about it. I was like, should we give them a real show? <laughs> I was like, free show? No, they can't see these titties. <laughs> you know what I mean? They can't see that. If you have five on the way out, we can arrange it. Uh, mustache ride is still just a nickel, though. So, I mean, if you're like... Someone's looking for a deal. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I was getting dressed. I, I put these pants on. I found 20 bucks in the pocket. Don't you love that, right? I was like, man, I'm so glad I stole these pants. So, like, <laughs> and then it's just been one of those days. Like, I don't, I don't know if you guys haven't had a good day. I don't want to like stand up here and like sound like an asshole talking about how awesome my day has been. But uh, I am gonna sound like I'm bragging. I am. <laughs> I just, I don't know how else to say this. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. I totally screwed my wife this morning. Yeah. about it, by the way. She, she doesn't know. Uh, I'm kidding. Calm down. Take it up. She knows. She Look, that's how good I am, okay? <laughs> when we're doing it, you know. That's all I'm saying. I'm no dumb one, but you are aware it's happening. <laughs> you wake up and everything. It's a good time. Yeah, and I was talking dirty, too. I was talking dirty. I was. I was, I was talking dirty. I was talking dirty. Because I, I know you love the dirty time. I do. I've learned that. You all, you all love it. You fucking love it. You do. I was talking so dirty. I was like, ooh, yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, you like that, huh? Okay, ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like that adequately sized dick. <laughs> I was like, sure, you've had better, but this is all you get, you little slut. It was a good time. Was really like, Nice. I, uh, I like to treat. I like to treat the wife. I like to treat her right. You know what I mean? I like to take good care of her. I'm trying to be a, like a you know, good dude. I'm trying to like, look better for her. Be more presentable. It's a work in progress. I. Uh, I am doing some things to try and look better though. I like. I like. I bought a mirror. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever gone for a while without a mirror and then gotten one, but I'll tell you, it doesn't really help. <laughs> it just, just kind of makes you aware of the problem. You know I mean? Now, instead of just leaving the house, I'll stop and I'll go, okay. I guess you can see that ketchup stain. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I need to work on my exit, I know that. I have. <laughs> but I, one thing I've been trying to do, I've been trying to lose a little weight for, you know what I mean, drop some pounds, right? You know what I mean? Get off me, pounds! Get off my hands! You stick it, pounds! You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let go, pounds! You got shark clothes! Get off of me! <laughs> I did. I joined a gym, and uh, the gym is the gym is where people go to the gym. Uh, okay, the gym, I, I'm with the rest of you guys. Fuck the gym, right? It is, it is such an awful, weird, weird place, man. It really, like the clientele at my gym. Ugh. I'd say it's like 50% fit people, 50% fat people. Right? But here's the funny thing, after a while, the fit people, you see the same faces a lot, the fat people, whole new crew, every time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, yes. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've heard. I've, I've been there the once, so I'm not sure. You know. No, no, but the gym's a drag, anyway, man. They got all these rules you gotta follow, you know. It's tough to keep track if you're not like a gym person, you know. <laughs> Re-rack your weights, let others work in, you know, like, stay out of the women's locker room. <laughs> <It's bullshit. laughs> it is, it doesn't, it might you know, they've even got this sign, it's on the inside of the bathroom stall, it says, uh, <laughs> please do not flush anything but toilet paper. No, no toilet paper. <laughs> I just feel like an idiot scooping all the turds out, you know? <laughs> Let's find it. This is fucking gross. <laughs> Stupid rules. <laughs> Aren't you guys seeing all these rules in your life, man? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. A couple of you, most of you are like, no, I like rules. They tell me what to do and when. And <laughs> I'm sick of all these rules. Stupid society telling me what to stupid do. I'm fucking done with it, man. I'm just, you know, all this arbitrary nonsense. Wear a seatbelt. <laughs> No drinking in public, right? I'm like, don't come within 500 feet of a school. I'm dead. <laughs> don't tread on me! <laughs> All right. I appreciate
mean, you guys really could have gone either way on that one. I appreciate it. <laughs> What's the joke about me being a pedophile? You guys are really cool about that. Thank you. So that's one of those things, like, for women, it's cool. It's like some of these, the, the women, the only time the women ever do it is like a student-teacher kind of thing, and you read about it, and you're like, yeah, I mean, you're kind of a lucky kid. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Man, none of my teachers fuck me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, you guys are a cool crowd. You've been awesome this whole time. You've been awesome, you know, especially for a cruise ship. You know what I mean? Like, those crowds usually suck. Uh, and you guys are really cool, man. Yeah. And I do agree, because not all crowds are cool, they're not. And then that's a bummer. <laughs> For us, it sucks when you guys suck, but you guys are very cool. I just feel like people are getting paranoid. I feel like, like everyone thinks everyone else is out to get them, you know what I mean? You all know what I mean, you fucking know what I mean. <laughs> this is when it hit me, though, man. This happened. I had this realization, this was a few months ago. It, it was over the winter. Uh, winter's this thing we have back in Chicago. It's like, it's... <laughs> I don't want to explain it to you. You guys, the way it feels inside at LAX, it feels like that outside. It was, it was very cold at the airport and I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm in this coffee shop, I'm standing by the door. Okay, I'm trying to warm up or whatever. This young lady comes in, she's taking off her jacket. Okay. I mean, you know how women do, they be taking off jackets. You know what I mean? <laughs> They go outside where it's cold, they be putting them on, they come back inside where it's warm, they be taking them on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but here's what's different, this time as she opens it up, a button pops off. Oh no. <laughs> Falls on the floor, rolls away a little bit, right? So I see that, I come over, I bend down, I grab it. As I stand back up, this woman says to me, I'm not making this up, she goes, Excuse me, can I have that back? Uh, I want to know what the fuck she thinks I'm doing. Seriously, what else could possibly be happening right now? Like, does she honestly think I'm just going to be like, ah, 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 <laughs> finders keepers? Yeah, this one's going in the collection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She was looking at me like I'd probably been standing there all day, just fucking waiting. You know, not yet. Oh, 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 oh. Like a pervert with a button fetish. It's like, oh, finally, and that's from a Pico? It's stupid, man. It was. I tell you what, it was that minute I knew chivalry is dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I took the button, I put it in my mouth, I swallowed it, I fucking ran away. That's what I did. That's what I did. Sure gave me a tummy ache, okay? Well, that's okay, because that night, I pooped a button. What? Yeah, I like to party, Goose Cruise. You fellas know what I'm talking about. You've pooped buttons before. That's right. Yeah. So. I am a father of two, by the way. Um, <laughs> other people here got kids? Anyone else got kids? No. <laughs> I'm our duly appointed representative, and I speak for everyone in the crowd. We do not have children. <laughs> you got a couple, right? You just raise your hand. You got kids, right? Fuck that guy. <laughs> Seriously, bend him over and fuck him right now. I want to watch. That would be weird. It's just not the kind of cruise this is. <laughs> Is it? Uh, and clap it up for this gentleman who Woo! reproduced. <laughs> Anyone who's like you people, no one would be here, so... I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. No, but you should be proud of that, man. You should own that shit. You got kids. Good for you. We all make mistakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Me too. My first mistake just turned ten. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how old he is. Uh, <laughs> he's cute though, he's still, he's still, uh, he's at that age, he's losing those molars now. He's like, don't fucking listen. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, <laughs> it's fun, it's fun. I just took the kids, I just took them to Six Flags. You guys remember Six Flags? Woo! Six Flags, fuck yeah, good stuff, man. Oh, man, I, I, uh, 
I'll tell you, here's a good way to tell when you're getting over the hill. If you ever wake up in the morning and the first thing that you say to yourself is, uh, Oh fuck, I gotta go to Six Flags today. Oh, God, God, damn it. You are done. Stick a fork in you. You're fucking finished, man. I used to love the amusement park. It is a whole different ballgame when you're the one footing the bill for that shit. It really is. It is. Seriously, I'm just walking around the park all day just like, uh, no, you're not hungry. No, you're not. Sorry. <laughs> no, you want to know how I know you're not hungry? Because there's a half-eaten piece of pizza on top of that garbage can, and you ain't eating it. So. <laughs> Couldn't be that fucking hungry. <laughs> the wife and I just had a new baby a little while ago. Just had a new one. Uh, that's fine. Okay. All right, thank you. A little, a little delayed on that one. We weren't sure how you felt about it. That's okay. That's okay. Are, is that a good thing? Okay. All right. No, that's, that's cool. Just turned one. So he's a year old, which is what that means. Um, <laughs> he's a year old. Your baby's a year old, and I'll tell you guys this: I am starting to like him. Really. Uh, <laughs> you don't. This one fellow, now you know that you bring that new baby home from the hospital at first, like, eh, you don't know this fucking guy, you know? <laughs> right? It doesn't look promising at first. He's like a tiny old man. It's all shriveled up. He's incontinent. Okay. Then you got him home. You're like rocking him to sleep. You're wiping his ass. Like, all right, this is a pretty big commitment for some dude I just met. <laughs> I just met this. I don't know anything about him. I don't know his music. I don't know his politics. <laughs> I know he's always trying to get uh, my wife's tits in his mouth. I'm not crazy about that. <laughs> That's a strike against him. And if you try to do that, you're fucking dead. But then we let it slide. Whatever. You want. It's cool. I don't feel threatened. I got a bigger dick. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> oh, that's right, ladies. The rumors are true, okay? <laughs> my dick is bigger than my son's. Woo! <laughs>